Chem, 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 chem 101. Hey guys, so welcome back to Chemistry 101, where we teach classes about chemistry. What class are we teaching today? Um, I think Ms. Maladina has chem class. No way, Ms. Yeah. Maladina's chem class? Yeah! No way! You know her? <gasps> you guys are in for a treat. Anastasia and I, Stephanie, we're university students, and let me tell you something. Ms. Maladina is the best grade 12 chemistry teacher out there. So today we're going to be talking to you guys about the organic mo molecule, commonly known as red number 40. And honestly, I'm not even going to pretend that I know the chemical name, so I'm going to read it off the paper. The chemical name is disodium 6-hydroxy 5-2-methoxy 5-methyl 4-sulfonyl azo 2-naphthalene sulfonates. It is widely used in the food and drugs that we consume. Often, we don't give much thought to the fact that much of what we consume is artificially colored. This is very dynamic, a, a, a very dynamic molecule in the sense that it has many functional groups. So as you can see, this is a very dynamic molecule in the sense that it has many functional groups. It has an azo group, two sulfo groups, a hydroxyl group, a methoxy group, three phenyl groups, also known as benzene, and a methyl group. It also has two sodium atoms that float around the molecule, which take part of the catalyst to help the molecule undergo a synthesis reaction. Some of the physical and chemical properties include, starting off with physical properties, its physical state is solid powder, its color is red, it is odorless, it has a boiling point of less than 300 degrees Celsius. It has a melting point, or its melting point is 350 degrees Celsius. Moving on to the chemical properties, it has a pH between, between 6 and 8. Its solubility in water is 120 grams per liter. Enough with all that chemical information. Let's talk about the fun stuff. Red number 40 is used to color gelatin, pudding, custards, alcohol, and non-alcoholic beverages, sauces, toppings, candy, sugar, Frosting, fruits, juices, dairy products, bakery products, jams, jellies, condiments, meat and poultry, drugs, drugs, cosmetics, textile industry. Stop, stop, stop. We get it. It's in everything, even Taylor Swift's red lipstick. But you forgot one of the scariest things. It's found in children's medication. It's not in children's medication to aid their sickness. It's used to appeal the consumer through its color. If a tablet were to be colored, it makes it more easily identifiable. And also, it helps, helps in advertising the products as color attracts the consumer. Oh yeah, and thinking about it, most things containing red number 40 are marketed to children. How sad is that? We are poisoning them before they even begin to understand what they are consuming. Stuff. This is all very true, but we have to give Miss Maladina's class some evidence or else they're never going to believe us. Oh dear, you're totally right. I'm getting so passionate. Why don't we take it back to the 1970s when pediatrician and allergist Benjamin Fangirl noted that hyperactive kids calmed down when they didn't eat any artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Since then, se several studies have tried to confirm the link. They found that although Although dyes don't cause ADHD, a small percentage of kids with ADHD do seem to be sensitive to the effects of food dye. I don't know about you guys, but I'm seriously regretting eating these red candies yesterday. Did you feel okay after you ate them? Yeah, why? I'm telling you, this stuff is really toxic. I found another study that showed an allergic reaction occurred in 15% of the population who consumed food products containing red number 40. In this test, 52 participants who had been suffering from hives and, hives and or rash for four weeks or more were placed on an elimination diet um, and all potential, sor potential sources of red number 40 were removed. Following the three weeks, there was no more symptoms. It has also showed that it has potential to intens intensify symptoms of asthma as it is a histam histamine liberator. Wow, this is all so good. You guys, you guys must be really getting turned off of factory foods. But one more thing to really nail the point home and turn you off these carcinogenic molecules. When tested on animals, it was observed that red number 40 caused bladder cancer in animals. In an experiment, rats were fed foods containing red number 40 for two weeks and were then bred 
red and were then bred. Red 40 significantly reduced reproductive success, parental and offspring weight, brain weight, and survival. Over, overall, red 40 produced evidence of both physical and behavioral toxicity in developing rats and doses of up, up to 10% of diet. We're animals too, so shouldn't we be questioning what red, what red number 40 is really doing to us and why the government is approving it? Jeez! I think we should wrap things up here. Stop! Have you not learned anything? God, I think Miss Molodina's chem class learned more than you. Here, take an apple. <laughs> Thanks for having us. And as always, you're the best. And be sure, remember, choose an apple over M&M's. Right there. Put that candy down. You need to turn that frown upside down Because it has a lure red And if you are a child, it may mess with your head So thank you, Kev101, for teaching me all this awesome stuff No problem, we hope you learned a lot So the next time you eat candy, you can think of us Woo!